So obviously it was going to take me just a few days from getting back from uh, where I've been there, just visiting a few places to hopefully, well, so I can discuss exactly what I'm speaking about here. I have got a few recordings, which I will show you at some point in the future uh, of where I've been. I didn't really learn too much beyond what I already knew, but I think it was still worth going, you know, just to show you for those people that think that I should actually have some kind of boots on the ground while I'm doing some of this stuff, but not really because I've done all this stuff in the past, you know. All these sites are basically the same anyway, aren't they? If something looks one way at one place, then it's going to be the same anywhere else in the world, isn't it? In my opinion, anywhere. So when I bought the PC here, uh, I made my first ever recording proper where I showed my face for the first time, the one in the, what I've circled in red there, the nonsense title that I called it anyway. Uh, I That was the first time that I ever showed my image and that video was one of the poorest view counts that's ever been on this channel. So that kind of taught me a thing or two that it didn't really matter if I showed my face or not, you know. So the point of uh, buying the camera and the mic didn't really make any difference and I kind of knew that wouldn't. And uh, I suppose going to these places isn't going to make any difference either is it so i will just carry on doing what i've always been doing here for the last six years these are some images uh, from the last giant video that i said i had some images on some sword some giant artifacts that had been found at the beginning of the video but i never ended up showing them so these are just them you can make up your own mind of what they are i suppose just because they find giant swords in the ground does not mean that they were from giant humans even though giants existed in my own personal opinion they could have been from some statue somewhere uh, you know the statue was just taken out crumbled away at some point but it was holding a giant sword yes we can't say that for a fact but it's a possibility isn't it Firstly, because I'm not I'm saying that all these are just petrified wood, right? But I just that obviously looks like wood grain to me, right? The wool have also have been coated in something, which is what most of this stuff is made from. It's some type of surface in some type of fake you know, whatever it is, whatever it turns into, right? And even the blocks that those pillars are now standing on, the well, none of this place will have looked like it does now, right? But it looks like it's just brick, pieces of sandstone, pieces of limestone that's been surfaced in something. Yeah, like a mixture. Uh, very little of this stuff will have actually been carved away from an actual quarry. Look at that on the immediate left, yeah? That will have been surfaced in what you're looking at. Uh, because this path has just been ripped up and put down from anywhere, hasn't it? Look at the pillar on the right there. Why is that all smashed up? And obviously, rebar ran through that piece there. Well, you couldn't just drill holes into a piece like that, yeah? Because the rebar wouldn't be secure, so you'd have to build the rebar into the fake substance that you're building it around in the first place, okay? Now, I will make a few more videos to do with my final jigsaw playlist, right? Because obviously this is petrified wood of some time from some giant tree. Uh, it's difficult to say exactly what we're looking at here. I can't even answer it properly, right? I just know what I'm looking at, but it's so difficult when everyone's got so many different views on this stuff, right? Just to say exactly what I think.